To show this, we took two men, Mr. Nice and Mr. Nasty, and placed them in a controlled environment. Then we asked several volunteers to meet them and discuss different subjects. Favourite films? Yeah, well, got plenty of those. Yeah, you go first. <laughs> Um, what the volunteers didn't know was that while Mr. Nice was being friendly and warm, <laughs> Mr. Nasty was being as negative and as difficult as possible. Philadelphia story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Didn't like that very much. Not really. But crucially, both Mr. Nice and Mr. Nasty have been asked to deliberately move their bodies in specific ways. So you got any more favourites? while cameras watched for a response in the volunteers that would reveal what was going on in their mind. Gradually, as the conversations developed, an extraordinary thing began to happen. I didn't... The volunteers with Mr. Nice gradually began to copy him. They kind of used those well, and the acting was so good, they kind of all got away with it. And the other one's Last of the Mohicans. No, I didn't see that. I mean, that. God, I shouldn't, there's no, no reason to suggest that we should like that, but there's some... Meanwhile, those with Mr. Nasty didn't uh, copy him at all. Well, I'm really enjoying 24 at the moment. Have you seen that? Sorry, it once. Yeah, no, I didn't like it very much. No? No. I think it's the sort of thing, I like going to the cinema myself. Because the volunteers like Mr. Nice, their mind prompted them to mimic him. A subconscious attempt to strengthen the bond between them. I saw Eamon Holmes. Did you? Yeah. Did you speak 